All right, today I'm going to install some D-ring tie-down anchors that I purchased on Amazon. It's uh, they're in this box here. This is Autobots half-inch heavy-duty bolt-on forged D-rings. Um, they're supposed to have a 12,000-pound uh, breaking strength. Um, there's four in this pack, um, and they come in orange, black, green, and red. And of course, I bought the orange because it's my favorite color. Let me unbox this and show you what's inside, all right? Let's go. All right, here you go. So this set is made to be convenient and quick to install without needing to weld. Um, you can, you know, knock the paint off these and weld them if you want. They bolt on with these 3 8 inch in diameter round head square neck bolts and these lock nuts. Let's see here. They have square holes in these capture um, plates to be able to capture that nut in there then you're able to put your reinforcement plate on the back and then your bolt so this is kind of kind of how it goes and this way you really you only need to screw in one side because this end is captured in that square piece and it won't spin these D-rings, the capture plates, the tie-down plates, they're all made of heavy-duty steel. And that's for strength and durability. This set can be used as tie-down anchors for trailers, trucks, vans, RVs, off-road vehicles, motorcycles, kayaks, boats, ATVs, uh, whatever, you, you know, wherever you need them, basically. Um, I think I said before it was $39.99, or I showed you uh, where on Amazon it's $39.99 so basically $10 per D-ring set of everything here um, I understand that's a little expensive but I mean you get heavy duty steel you get the back plate and it's all powder coated for $10 a set alright let's go and install these D-rings on my trailer alright let's go all right, I'm up in my garage now. This is my six foot by eight foot carry-on trailer. Uh, a gentleman bought it at Tractor Supply. He also got the little tongue box on there. I purchased it from him on Facebook Mar Marketplace. It's my first ever purchase on Facebook Marketplace for just under a thousand dollars. It was beat up pretty bad. Um, it, none of the lights worked. The wiring harness was uh, cut and ragged and beat up in a lot of different places. So I rewired the whole wiring harness over there. Um, I fixed the, the tongue box that he has there that was beat up pretty bad. I had to actually lift it off and place it back on there and, and put the proper um, screws and bolts in there and bolt it down. Um, I put on all new uh, wiring harness and LED lights on the entire, you know, all around. Um, and I, and you guys can laugh at me if you want. It had this uh, 13 inch, these 13 inch wheels on it. I put some 14 inch wheels on it. I don't know if that's too much for this little trailer, but you know, I, I like the 14 inch wheels better. Uh, put in the comments if you don't like that. If you think I'm stupid to, by putting 14 inch wheels on there. I don't know if I put a, a heavy load on there, if it's gonna start scrubbing on this wheel well here. And what I want to do is put those D-rings on four corners of this uh, trailer, all right? Let me show you some of the equipment I'm gonna work with. All right, so I have uh, my standard drill bit and then my impact drill bit from DeWalt. And I'm gonna try, I've never tried these before, an impact step drill bit set. And I've got this, you see here, I've got it taped off at uh, where it should be at 3 8 inch. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll revert to the actual 3 8 inch drill bit that I have. This is the DeWalt. If it doesn't work, I'll switch to uh, some of the Walkie drill bits that I recently purchased. But uh, yeah, this um, Cy-B impact drill bit set, I got this uh, a while back and I've never used it yet, so I'm gonna try it today. Uh, you'll you'll see how well it does uh, as quickly as I do. <laughs> now there aren't many, very many places I can put 
this D ring is it's so big. I, I had no idea it was going to be this huge. Originally, I wanted to here. Let me show you. Originally, I wanted to place them here, but as you can see, there just isn't enough room. And then I started looking around, and there's not enough room, basically, just about anywhere except for placing it like right here, like this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm gonna put one here and then one on the opposite end over there. And then I'm gonna put one down here and put one right here or yeah, it's gonna to have to be here. Um, and then one over here like this. So like I said, all four ends just like that, all right? Um, so uh, let's get started. So I'm going to have to put uh, 3 8 inch holes through here, and I know that there's wood right here, so I'm going to get the, the long drill bit over here once I get this um, impact drill through the actual metal. I'll get the long drill bit and drill into the wood a little bit. That way there will be room for this 2 and I think 2 and a half inch. Uh, bolt to go through because it's gonna it's gonna go in there pretty far now you know what I'm gonna do let's go I'll take off on me right. just mark that a second ago so I know what this Test it with the actual three eighths inch bit here. Okay, I'm using another bit. All right, the Milwaukee drill bit. Had to go through the wood as well. Let's see if this. Yep. Make it. It's not going to fit down there. So I need to cut off some of this. I had to get the hammer and chisel out, so let's see how well this works. All right, I should have enough room in here now to put the bolts. All right, hopefully you can see what's going on here. See this? This have to come through here. So, but. The back plate has to go on first. So, and then the bolts have to go on. <laughs> something on if I want. Now I'm gonna move on down. Start this one. This is gonna be very painful I think. Probably got the second one on here. See how it went in. That way. Um, 
cut these back a little bit. These are way too long and they're digging into the, to the wood here. So what I'm doing here is kind of gauging how it goes through here. And then there'll be a nut on this end. I'm gonna cut this back about this far just to be safe. And I'll cut the rest of these, there should be four more, back to this length and then work with these here. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and cut these all at this length. Put a little blue tape on every one of them. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Hope it cuts. It may work, it may not, I don't know, we'll see. One more. I have to say, these impact step drill bits are amazing. They go through this metal like butter. to drill these holes on this side. Amazing. Let's see if this works. All right. Looks like they both caught. Maybe. It's pretty amazing. All right. So cutting those bolts down to an inch and a half will save me a lot of time. Let me just do this. like a piece of slag or something, a piece of metal that was left there from production. I need to move that or get rid of it. Let's see if this large flat head will do. Oh yeah, look at that. Knocked it right off. at all.
so nice. Knock on wood again. Cutting these to an inch and a half saved a lot of time. Didn't go perfect as planned, but all four, all four sides here. And uh, nice. All right, here's the trailer. Now that we're done, Good. nice. Get those D rings on there. One thing I am going to say is. These uh, CB, however you want to pronounce them, impact step drill bits. They, uh, you know, I'm 100% I'm amazed by these things. I've never used them before. This thing was awesome. One thing I didn't like was my, my DeWalt 3 8 drill bit died on me. But this Milwaukee 3 8 inch drill bit uh, did amazing. So I'm going to be going probably with Milwaukee from now on. All right, so now the set's installed. Like I said before, you can get this in orange like I did, black, green, or red, all right? Um, thanks for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and please click like. And if you like some other videos I have on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna keep making these videos. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, all right? Goodbye.